push it nice and hard and that'll push out okay how it goes pin out so what I like to do is just pop that back slightly but hold it down okay because it's not joined to the top section now push the top section forward like so and just slide it off okay sometimes the barrel gets stuck on there you just pull it right off okay completely empty then you put that side out of the way and take the hop unit out as you can see it's all standard right and now we're left with the gearbox itself as you can see the um, the top section here with the blowback system is a nice little unit as it is okay what we want to do is leave that is just pop this one off here because it's got a nice little locating hole so we take that off there and with the spring see? put him aside now the recoil unit itself little trick here I like to put it down you see this little piece here at the back I like to pull that forward so that it slides off this little notch locating notch I then twist it upside down okay so that it clears this back section here okay and then it's in the gearbox there so move that slightly back keep and hold of the middle section where my thumb is okay so that it slides out of the hole and as one section by keeping it intact with your fingers okay and then you can literally just put that aside to the whole recoil unit well that's the sorry the blowback unit okay and the recoil unit over there right we've now got the gearbox grip two screws Phillips long one at the back short one at the front Long one, short one. This tends to get a bit stuck on, so I like to just encourage it to come out. Now it comes. Don't forget your little spacer. Now we can see the motor black wire at the back, red wire at the front, notice how the red wire loops over okay but both wires come from the back of the handle now the motor itself is quite snugly in there what TM have done on the inside is they've redesigned it slightly so it's much smaller so there's less motor movement um, a bit like a version 3 in that it's kind of like its own little cage that handle now and we just slide the motor out, notice that the motor, the red is towards the front of the gun okay the motor interestingly is can we see that it says high torque in the top right hand corner here I like to use a little magnetic screwdriver for this one it's two screws one two silver nice metal this one so they've actually replaced the screws now with much stronger metal so they don't round off quite as easy poke it in there under the screws and just undo one at a time it's one screw put it safely yet just notch the wires out the way as you're doing this Be nice and firm with it, you don't want to round off any bolts or anything like that. Alrighty, once they're all loose, the handle just nudge it back. A little wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And then off the wires, okay? Now feed the wires back through. So they come out the little holes.
one and two. And there we go. Put the handle aside. Make sure you keep hold of those two screws. We now have down to this part. That's the wires coming out there. What we're going to do now is turn it upside down. Mag release catch. It's a little Allen key. Pretty small. Uh, H1.5, I do believe. And then just to poke the little thing in there and twist him off. Let's put that part separate with the bolt. Don't forget to take the uh, spring out. Drop the bolt out the bottom. Now put them nice and safe. Righty, now there's only one thing holding the gearbox in now, apart from a lot of fiddling. <laughs> uh, there's not two, not like the standard M4, you've only got the one locating bolt, which is there. Uh, sorry, there, which is the trigger one. The one at the back is just an imitation, so we're going to just poke this out. How he comes. That's called the trigger locating bolt. I do believe you can buy a Lalax one now aftermarket, um, which prevents this one from annoyingly wiggling out. Um, right now, what I like to do is a rocking motion on this. So you notice how I've lifted up the front here, and as you do that, the bolt catch here will come out. Okay. Notice how it's especially sexy bolt catch. That has to go back in a specific place, uh, which I'll go into in a second. Put that somewhere nice and safe. And like I said, I like to do the rocking motion, so I like to lift the front out first, that releases the catch, then I like to go back in. Then what I like to do is making sure the selectors in the forward position. Yeah, you know you're gonna be a bastard, aren't you? While it's in the forward position, in the safe, you should be able to obviously do in the first rock that direction and then you do the back rock this direction so that it comes out. So first rock that way, then rock that way to get it out. Obviously the spring, to get that out, do what the spring naturally does, spring it and ping it out. All right. Then feed through the wires. One receiver, a lower. We'll put that aside. One gearbox. Righty, as you can see, attached, won't come out. So, what we're going to do here is um, just quickly change that spring over. Turn them upside down. That's the select plate. That's how there's no spring on the select plate, much better. Turn them upside down. This is where you want to start first, okay? Just one Phillips screw. Now there is a small spring underneath the screw, which you want to try and catch hold of, and don't let them escape. Righty, first one off. Locate safely. Now, get this bare boy spring. Righty, spring nice and safe. All right, once he's out of the way with, you just lift up part one of the locking mechanism catch thing, part two, okay, and part three stays in there. Notice its position, 